All right, step number one is you've got to form a business entity. And there are several types that you can form. You've got to talk to a real estate savvy CPA and or attorney in order to determine the most suitable entity for you and your specific financial situation. Nobody has any business telling you what the best entity is unless they know your story, your financial picture, okay? If you do online searching, of course, you're going to see, oh, you should form an LLC. And while that is usually the best entity, there are sometimes other options that are better for you. So that's why I am not one to tell you the best one for you when I have no idea what your situation is like, okay? Okay, now, why do you even need a business entity? Well, for lots of reasons, but these are the top three. Number one. You've got to keep your business and your personal finances separate. Uncle Sam will thank you, and you'll get to enjoy a myriad of business write-offs. That's the whole point, right? All right, number two, you've got to protect your assets and limit your liability. With my students and in my programs, I talk a lot about minimizing risk because there are so many ways to do it across the entire project. And setting up your business entity the proper way from the get-go is the best way to start doing it. The third reason I'll give you is in order to secure financing for your flips, you're likely going to need a business entity. Now, any type of commercial loan or real estate investing loan like hard money will be required to be done in a business name. 